Today we're going to cover the basic definitions and properties of graphs. So let's just take a moment to talk about uh, the origins of graph theory and and the ideas surrounding the development of graph theory came up uh, a few centuries ago uh, in Prussia and this this city uh, in Prussia was interesting in the sense that it was divided by uh, a river and there were two large islands so you can see these large islands and there were lots of bridges in fact there were seven bridges that connected the different uh, islands to different parts of the city and the only way to get to the islands was via these uh, bridges and the problem, so somebody was curious about this apparently, um, was can one find a walk through the city that crosses each bridge exactly once? All right. This is kind of an interesting problem. And, and some mathematicians, in particular one named Euler, um, thought that was interesting. And, and mathematics really hadn't developed to the point where they had a nice framework for talking about this type of problem. And that's where where the idea of graph theory uh, originated. And so let's see what, what that means. Well, you can view this problem abstractly in the sense that fundamentally uh, we have some regions here, right? So, so this island here is represented by this abstract green region and then we have this area up here that's one region and so the green is just showing you abstract green regions and we're abstracting away from the particular shapes of, of these regions and we're also showing uh, the connectivity between these regions so there are different ways of getting from this region to the middle um, middle region and from this top region to the the other island and those those correspond to the bridges and again we're abstracting away from the exact positioning of each of those bridges and we can we can abstract even more we can get a more abstract picture as follows we can uh, say these regions are going to be represented by dots so here uh, this island is represented by this dot and the middle island is represented by this dot and the bridges or the connectivity between regions are going to be represented by these lines that connect the dots and we're going to call those edges we're going to call the dots vertices and this is a graph and and fundamentally uh, so so at the most abstract level a graph uh, is composed of a bunch of dots or vertices and edges between them that indicate certain relationships or lack of relationships between them.